Excited to get an interview. Explain how coding challenges work. Welcome to the vlog. Today's plan is to do a good workout. I haven't worked out in a bit because I was sick, so I'm gonna get back at it. Then later, I have some prepping and studying to do. I got a take-home interview. So I spent part of the afternoon yesterday doing some leak code. I have to do some more leak code. Excited to get an interview because every time I get an interview, it forces me to get some really good studying in, which has been really productive and beneficial. I got a banana bread latte. Slightly sweet, has a hint of banana. Pretty good. I just got home from Printer's Row. I picked up some coffee so I can focus in on studying for my test. Um, I found the coffee really helps with that. I also picked up a few quick things from Toto's Market, some more ice cream, and then I picked up a egg salad, a tuna salad, and then some chicken stock as just like snacks and little things to have. I wanted to sit down and explain how coding challenges work. So I work in tech, I work in analytics, and you have two types of coding challenges. There's like a take home and there's a whiteboarding. So a take home challenge, which is what I'm prepping for now, can be anywhere from like a few days. I've had like 24, 48 hours where they give you a project and you have to code um, based off the project and then submit it. The other type of interviewing is whiteboarding where you sit down with a recruiter and you walk through like a few problems and you do pseudo code. Those are usually quicker. You kind of have an idea of how you do by the end of those. I go back and forth of what I like better. Whiteboarding I find simpler because like it's 30, 45 minutes, not days you have to spend on an assignment. So for this one, I'm prepping for a take home that's time allotment of 90 minutes done on my computer and then I submit it and that's even before I interview anyone. So let's see how that goes. So I just picked up a coffee. You need to be able to like mentally focus, lock in, take an hour and a half, take home test. I don't think it's gonna be easy. So let's see how this goes. I wanted to sit down and give a little update on how that take home test went. Honestly, it was so hard. It was like multiple leak code, medium to hard questions. It's crazy that the role I applied for was a more junior level to the experience I have. And I'm honestly not sure someone at that level could have done well or even completed this test. It had to be one of the harder coding challenges probably taken. I guess I'll have to see how I do. And if I move on to the next round, I got an email. I was told I'll hear back in a few days or maybe I'll just get ghosted. So fingers crossed that it goes well. So an update to the process. I got an email a few days later that I was rejected. The reality of a job search, it's tough, but that's the journey. So back to the grind, back to applying for more jobs, preparing for more interviews. I'm staying hopeful that the right opportunity will come along when it does.
and I'll catch you in the next one.